Okay, in this video I'm going to be working on my manure spreader. It's an old, uh, I think it's, I forget the name of the, the brand name, like New Idea or something, I forget. Um, it, I bought it a few years ago, it's definitely, um, was a little long in the tooth, tried to use it, the chain kept breaking, I bought some new chain and we kind of like spliced it in, eventually the chain just kind of gave way and like bent a bunch of the, uh, the bars that um, kind of bridge the two pieces of the chain and are, are kind of used as like there's like slats to help kind of push the manure back. Um, so the thing sat for a couple of years, and uh, manure pile is getting pretty big. Um, so we need to we need to do something about it to get this thing working. So I bought a bunch of new chain, and uh, I bought a bunch of angle iron from. Um, just a hardware store, and now I'm taking that and I'm going to be making my own chain. And so, it's, so you get these end links for the detachable chain. I'm going to weld those on. You could bolt them on, but I'm going to weld them, and then um, and then piece the thing back together. Hopefully, the new chain will solve the problem, and the thing will work uh, fantastic. And then we can spread a bunch of manure, and life will be perfect and happy and rainbows and unicorns and all that stuff. So um, I'll show you what the, the chain looks like and uh, show you kind of what I'm doing and, and, and what we got going on. So here you can see some of the old bits and this thing got totally demolished and here's some of the old chain. Um, and, you know, so like kind of the thing is I, I don't know what chain this is per se, like which exact size. So we kind of just guessed that this is a I think 67H is what I think I guessed it at. Um, though this probably isn't actually what it is. It might be actually slightly lighter duty than that, but that's what uh, I ended up getting as replacement. So, um, so that's one piece, and you can see I've just chain everywhere. Um, and then, you know, and then I have a few pieces that are are fairly straight. So. Um, that I probably won't salvage this one because it has a, quite a quite a bow to it. And here's the replacement. So these are the end pieces that I'm going to weld onto um, onto the angle iron there. So there's a left hand and a right hand of this, and then there's two rolls of 10 foot chain, and I have another roll of chain that I bought previously at 10 feet. So it's 30 feet. I think that's enough to get me through uh, replacing all of it. If I if I understand correctly, how many pieces, uh, how much chain I actually need there. So um, I'm gonna get. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna have to do is uh, I'm gonna start sanding off all these things, the the paint, so I can weld it on to the uh, angle iron. So here's all there's a bunch of the angle iron that I cut. So here's here's one piece that was pretty intact. So I can can use that as a as a as a gauge uh, to, to measure. So I could cut um, the pieces down. Now um, what I'm gonna do? So I, I got uh, I think it's like one two three four five six seven. 9, 10, 11, and then a 12th one that's here. Now I just use this old, uh, I have a, this old compound uh, miter saw. Um, I put a, a 
you know, steel cutting abrasive blade on it. And uh, that's kind of what it's been for the last few years of its life. Uh, it definitely doesn't like it. <laughs> it's starting to feel its age, that's for sure. Um, but it's been handy. After cutting the angle iron with the chop saw, needed to defer them. So go ahead and do that now before uh, starting the weld. Okay, just to give you an idea of the setup here, um, you'll notice I had a block that's tack welded here, and I have a block that I tack welded over here. Basically what I did is I, I took some of the old pieces and I kind of showed it in the time lapse, um, fit it up between the two blocks, and then uh, that way I can put the middle rail in, put the end pieces on, kind of eyeball them together and just weld them, you know, just clamp it right here real quick and then clamp it over here and then I can get a weld. And then I, I tack welded the first one just to kind of get a, um, that's fully welded now, but I tack welded initially, did a kind of a fitment check and now I just uh, finish welded uh, on either side here. The welds definitely seem like they're, uh, uh, they're probably going to be more than sufficient. I, I think, you know, not not perfect welds, but uh, you know, good enough probably hopefully for what's required here. And then, uh, so now I just got to do a bunch more of them. So the way detachable chain works, or flat chain, um, you know, so this is the older one, it's a lot easier to show, but if you, if you put it in this orientation, you can actually separate them. This one is old enough and without too much effort. You can separate the chains and then put them back together and reassemble um, the parts. Now, the idea is that you'd be able to do this you know, in the field. If you had a breakdown, you could you know, remove a piece of chain, add chain, whatever you needed to do. The older one's definitely a lot easier to do than, than the new stuff. Um, when it's newer, you know, this is rusted and worn down, so this gap is a lot, a lot bigger. And, you know, I can almost do it by hand. When it's newer, you know, everything's going to be, uh, you know, less worn down, so it's going to be a lot harder to do. Uh, but it's essentially the same. You can do that. So now, <clears throat> now that I've made all the pieces, I got to assemble it into the chain. Luckily, a friend of mine did that for me. And uh, so basically counted out about seven or eight links between uh, those, uh, those angle iron pieces that I made and we built the chain up and then uh, slipped it into uh, to the manure spreader. So that's the next step. Now that I made all the pieces, I have the chain, uh, assemble it together and then loop it into the, uh, the manure spreader. I'll show you kind of how it fits in the manure spreader and then I'll show you how the manure spreader works. So here you can see the chain is installed in the manure spreader now. It's uh, um, about one, two, three, four, five links in between each section here. So a friend of mine helped me put it together and while I was at work he was actually installing the chain. So unfortunately I don't have much video of this going together other than, you know, basically uh, putting the chain together, uh, you know, just counting how many links between each section here. Uh, 
assembling it pretty much complete, sliding it up underneath the manure spreader and then feeding it through. Now it's not too complicated. Um, you know, there's a piece of rubber here. It's actually a help access and obviously there's some wood missing there. So we need to fix that as well. It's old and rotted. Um, so just feeding the chain up and uh, this section, kind of doing the same there. And then for this one, the chain actually goes up over the rear or under the rear axle. Um, and then on these, it seems to be working fine that way. Ah, it goes up above that too. And then up to the front. There's not really a lot of tension adjustment here. So to get the chain off, you know, we, we took these off and that allowed uh, basically the chain to be loose enough to, to take it apart. And then um, right here on this one, this one seems to be angling inward a bit. So he put some washers right here to help keep this thing kicked up so that the chain won't fall off. So I don't know how much, what size this is, like 60 bushels or something like that. Um, you know, it's enough to hold a couple of yards or so, maybe a yard or two of manure. So a friend of mine, Charlie, helped me uh, spread manure the other day. We really put the thing to the test. Uh, got the, uh, loaded it up with the, the tractor. I drove the tractor and he uh, drove the truck and uh, spread the manure. And I, I rode along and, and got some sweet shots of it, you know, in, in the works. We probably spread about... Uh, I don't know, maybe 10 or so yards of, of manure in the, in the neighbor's field. And uh, great success. Very happy with it. Um, here's uh, some uh, action shots of the thing, uh, thing working, working away.